Okay, these are the basic directions on how to make a tie. So, we are laying out our pattern pieces. Inside of your envelope, you will have three pattern pieces. You've got the big part of your tie, you've got the small end of your tie, and you've got the center piece that goes around the back of the neck. Um, the tie pieces are numbered, so please make sure you're keeping the pattern pieces in the correct set. First of all, we wanna make sure that we are cutting one of our fabric and one of our lining. For the sake of our contest here, we are gonna have the same fabric for our lining as well as our fabric. So, we lay out the pattern pieces. We want the straight of grain arrow to be going parallel to our selvage edge. Pin the pattern pieces on place. As you are cutting, please make sure that you are not cutting uh, the pattern piece itself so that we are keeping things the right size. Um, pin it into place and go ahead and cut it out. I have pre-cut out these pieces so we can pull these pattern pieces out and be ready to start the next step. We remove the pins. As you remove pins, please make sure that they are getting back onto the pin cushion so that we don't end up with pins in anybody's foot. Please make sure that all of the pattern pieces get back into our pattern envelope. And once again, that the numbers correspond with the set that you are using. Now, when we cut this out, we're cutting through two layers. So we've got the two pieces that we need for both our lining as well as the front side of the tie. So what we wanna do is we're going to take our two body pieces and we always want to make sure that we are putting these pretty side up. Let's slide this one over. We want to get our two neck pieces and we're going to put these pretty side up. Essentially what we're wanting to do here is mirror image. So I've got one set here and one set here. I'm going to take my, my back neck piece and I'm going to, to line them up here. So that one's going to go there, this one's going to go here. You'll notice that these sides are not exactly the same. This side is longer, it's bigger. That means it's going on the bigger side. This side is smaller, it's going to go on the smaller side. We're matching pretty sides together. We're matching along right there. We are going to pin perpendicular to where we're going to sew. We want it so that we're, as we sew, as we sew right there, then that's going to come up and it's going to, to make a long line. And then we're gonna do the same thing over on this side. You do want to make sure, you don't want to line up exactly on the points. You want to offset by about a quarter of an inch. So, because that's the seam allowance we're gonna be using quarter of an inch so that it's extending over a quarter of an inch on this side as well. What that's going to do is when we lay this out flat it's going to give us a nice straight seam or a nice straight tie rather. So we're going to be sewing right there and right there. What you do to one piece you're going to do to the other. So once again I'm going to overlap about a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch Stick my pins through perpendicular to where I'm sewing. I'm gonna line up same thing, big side with big side. Overlap about a quarter of an inch. Pin and pin. Now, I'm gonna be sewing a quarter of an inch seam allowance there, 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 and there. Now we're ready to sew.